Cool. So I'm coming here for the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Very good, very good. Right. Cool. cool. Come on in, don't worry about your shoes. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You should do the rolling, I'll do some uh, all right. I'll do some cutting in. Awesome. Basically, my wife's gone to Bristol to see her best mate. Right. And uh, she left us a list of jobs to do. And so my aim this weekend is to complete that list. You were somebody who, when I was a teenager, you were like a bit of a big brother. You're always a bit of a role model. You seem to be driven by something. I didn't know right. what it was. Um, and that seems to give you a lot of energy and, and all of this. So, and, and it, it seems to bring out your, um, all of your sort of qualities and your charisma and stuff. You decided to keep pretty much the same kind? Pretty much, we, we quite like it, a bit of teal. But no, have you done much painting yourself? Um, I've done a few little, uh, I've done a few little jobs as a, uh, as a, te as a teenager. In fact, this is taking me back. Yeah. I mean, obviously, um, being cousins, I mean, we're fortunate, aren't we, in a family where, um, you know, we, we're close enough to be able to talk about stuff that matters. Yeah. You're going to a dinner party tonight? Yeah, I've got to wear this as well. You know one thing when you were saying about, you know, maybe I've influenced you a bit, I don't think that influence would extend to women. <laughs> well, there's been some, um, there was the, there was the, there was the girl you never forgotten the, was that the girl that you convinced ever? me to ask out on a date that I didn't even I fancy. I became chief exec of a charity uh, nine months ago that was I'm taking over from the founder, yeah. and that's a real challenge, you know, because I've got to really believe in the purpose of helping the charity be as good as it can be. I can't be thinking I've just got to live up to my predecessor, and I've got to manage my own ego. To think, right, my purpose is helping the charity be as good as possible, not kind of get afflicted by sort of insecurities. Mm -hmm. uh, and for me, that's where my faith really makes a difference because I think that, I think faith is stuff that can work in your heart, you know, in the inner recesses of your heart, things that no one else sees. I love this definition of integrity is doing the right thing when no one's watching. Yeah, yeah, right. You know, mm -hmm. And that's why I believe in grace so much. God's grace, you know, it can unlock those difficult things and you can draw out the, the sort of diamond in the dung heap, really. Do you know what I mean? And what it is that's there of real meaning. Knowing um, people who've been homeless, who've been restored and have gone through recovery, and I've been a little part in that journey. Is, is, you know, is fantastic, you know, and you never really know the impact you've had. Right, this is good. Making good progress. Yeah, you haven't quite gone up to the top in this corner, Tom. No, no, well, yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. That's great, Tom. You're, doing good, you're gonna come and, um... Yeah, I'm gonna cut in, mate. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna cut in. Yeah, I've got all the lingo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no all the lingo and no idea. <laughs> then one day, with you um, in Centre Point, and I don't know if you remember, we went to visit our grandma was was dying. Do you remember at the time? And we went to visit her in the hospital, at Som Somerset's hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And before um, or after that, we spent I spent the day with you and just following you around. You got paint on your shoe. This is in my mind. Yeah, I do have some on my shoe. It's just going to be um, a bit scary, isn't it? You? I knew John the the person, the individual, but um, I always thought that people changed when they went to work, and so they then become serious. I thought you'd become serious, John. And what I noticed is that you were being, from what I could tell, you were being fully yourself, but in the workplace. So all of those elements of your character, which I had seen come out, was you were bringing that to work. Let me see if I can... Uh... You can do the cutting in there, Tom. Yeah. And then, you know, I was a bit, I was probably a bit too soft to go and work in a homeless, sure. homeless shelter in London, but it got me thinking about what, what would that mean to me? Yeah. Uh, what... and, and 
I, I didn't know that, obviously, I didn't know what you said, but it does show, doesn't it, the interconnectedness of everyone. We don't know the effect we have on other people. Sometimes, some people can say, oh, you said something, I can't remember it. Yeah. And then some other times I've done some big speech that I think is amazing, and yeah. no one remembers a word of it. And I think it planted a seed of what a more purposeful career might look like. And then I ended up uh, starting a social enterprise in the Philippines. Yeah. As if you'd just done, and then just look at it for a second. It, it, yeah. yeah. Chopping the heads, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now step forward so your head is in. Maybe if you can just squat a little bit. Squat? Yeah, just kind of. But not like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. Okay. And. Um, that That's one. Right. We've got that one, yeah. Like, we've got that one. Like, you, could, you could finish we it. We are literally on our knees. Even like, well, what about this? Bit more done. Yeah, 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 that. Okay, yeah. do that. That's kind of what I meant oh, when I said like... Just, just stare at them. 9, 8, 7, Wait, 10 six, seconds. a long time. Five, I'm going to fade it. This four, is like watching paint dry. Three. <laughs> <laughs>